Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the As Seen On TV, a product that I'm surprised I haven't reviewed, but it's the As Seen On TV, Anthony Salvin, and the one and only Billy Mays. This is the greater plater, grates and serves in the same dish. Easy to use, tempered ceramic, never dolls, unique design, won't cut fingers. Free bonus, rolling garlic peeler. New innovative grating system, it says. And it's just kind of a ceramic dish that supposedly it grates whatever you put into it. Uh, but yeah, best of all, it's uh, endorsed by the famous Anthony Sullivan and Billy Mays, as seen on TV product, endorsed by the Pitchman. There used to be a show on the, I believe it was the Discovery Channel, channel called The Pitchman. But uh, you can uh, grate garlic, ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, coconut, cheese, chocolate, oranges, lemon, nuts. So let's open it up, see what's inside, see if this thing actually works. Alright, so I'd actually forgotten about this product, and I'm surprised I didn't review it a long time ago, but uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I remember this thing. Never really tested it, but it's a classic, as seen on TV product. It's kind of funny, you get the, you know, this little brush. <laughs> I really don't think that's needed. Okay, so the plate, this is kind of a ceramic plate. Uh, I've reviewed these before, these do work, they're garlic rollers. You just put the garlic inside, roll it, and then it takes off the skin, so it's kind of a cool way of getting the skin off your garlic. And yeah, so you just grate things, and you can use this little, uh, this brush to kind of scrape along the edges. But it's just kind of a textured ceramic plate. So what I'm gonna do, let's say, imported by Smart, Inventions Incorporated, made in China. I'm gonna wash this off. And see if this actually works. I mean, if it does great, I could see using this product because, you know, it's so compact and a lot of times when you grate cheese or whatever, you just, you don't wanna get out your big cheese grater. I mean, if this works, it'd be nice just to use a little ceramic plate. All right, so first, let me get uh, a lemon. I'm gonna do some lemon zest and see if that works. All right. Okay, we have a nice big lemon here. Can we get some lemon zest using the grater plater? Here we go, three, two, one. All right, let me, let me look at the directions first, actually. It says, always moisten the grater for wet foods like garlic and ginger or use it dry foods like nutmeg, cheese, and chocolate. For greater, for garlic, use brush to push garlic, or grated garlic to center of the plate. Um, yeah, so it looks like I'm doing it the right way. Hmm. Yeah, not really grating like I expected. Um, next, um, you know, let's move on. So, definitely kind of a fail on that one. That was that was surprising. Um, let's try some ginger. So we have some nice ginger. So always moisten. So I'm gonna moisten this a little bit. All right, so here we go. Have some nice ginger. Okay, that's working better. Now that's working. So yeah, there we go. I could actually see using that. And then you kind of use this brush just to kind of get it to the center. But yeah, we have some nice fresh ginger. I'm gonna taste some of this. I love the taste of ginger. Yeah. Um, I would say it's more mush than grated. All right, so the final test, we have some nice Parmesan cheese here. And this is the big test. I'm really curious because how many times have you had a salad and you just want a little bit of Parmesan? This is gonna be a big test. All right, let's take this off. Okay. 
All right, I want to I want to taste test this first. Yeah, pretty good Parmesan. All right, here we go. Does this actually great Parmesan cheese? Here we go. All right, not too bad. I mean, the texture wise, I would say, let me show you this, the texture that it creates, not the most appealing. But in a pinch, maybe. So yeah, given those three tests, do I recommend the greater plater grates and serves in the same dish? Um, the answer is I'm kind of on the fence with this thing. I think in certain circumstances it did work and it would be something I would use like in the case of ginger. But in the case of uh, Parmesan, I mean, I think you're way better using just a normal cheese grater. I don't think it's that difficult. And in the case of lemon, it definitely didn't work at all. So um, I think it kind of just depends on what you're using. Um, you know, I could see this using being uh, useful for garlic as well. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. Um, I think there's better options out there, but if you're in a pinch, I would say go for it. Um, don't spend more than $5 on this. I don't think it's worth it because all you're really getting is a ceramic plate. Um, but yeah, it's a, you know, a good idea. Just, I don't think it worked as well as what I was expecting. So thanks for watching my videos, everyone. If you like them, please continue following. If you want to support my content, go to patreon.com slash nine or just search Patreon for the number nine M A L L S. All right. Thanks for watching.